Ring of Combat Bantamweight title. And this one is slated for three rounds. Three fives. Yes, it is. Again, Rich Canunas KHI with my broadcast partner, Fred Vallejo. See guys already uh, just kind of you know, filling each other out a little bit. Thomas Vasquez says he does believe he brings a unique style, something that Julio hasn't seen before. Well, what's interesting is if you go against a southpaw, you have to rotate to the right side. It's MMA 101, Boxing 101, Combat Sports 101. <laughs> You want to keep away from that left, that counter left. You start walking into your right, you're going to get caught. So we'll see if Vasquez circles to his left a little bit. Arce wraps him up. As you mentioned Julio Arce trying to defend his belt. 6-0, looking to defend his belt for the second time. He's a great striker, well-rounded. Of course, mm -hmm. all guys from Tiger Coleman's gym, they usually are. They always come Definitely. ready to fight as well. And last four rings have all come in Ring of Combat action. The last coming against Jake Burtson's Ring of Combat 49, which ultimately led to winning the belt first round submission. I had a chance to talk, talk to both fighters yesterday. Thomas Vasquez, a lot of respect between these, these guys right here. Uh, Vasquez's camp said you don't have to hate somebody to hit them, but uh, they came here, they got a job to do, and uh, they plan to leave home with that belt, leave for home with that belt. Yeah, these two are just well-spoken guys, humble guys. They work very hard. They deserve to be in the cage tonight for the belt. As all the fighters have this evening at Ring of Combat 50. This is the fight that uh, the president of Ring of Combat, Lou Neglia, was looking forward to himself. I mean, he loves putting tough fights together, and that's what Ring of Combat is all about. And you can see Arce trying to just show that job there. And there's that counter left. left. <laughs> Cut Vasquez. And the beauty, too, is when you have a boxing background, when you have a great stand-up game, not only does your opponent have to worry about the jabs, the reach, the punches, the counters, but that's when you can start incorporating some of those low strikes. Yes, absolutely. You throw them off a little bit. You keep them from lunging in. You keep, you know, the, the problem is if you go against a guy with, uh, who has a boxing background or longer retread, I, I think it, it's, it, it would behoove you to really either shoot in, take the fight down to the ground, or you don't want him to jump on you, then guess what? You gotta start using a little more Muay Thai, kick kicks, front kicks, disruption, avoidance, and mm -hmm. we'll see if Vasquez can do it. Yeah, you love styles to make fights. Absolutely. You can I mean you can definitely see it. Julio has a great stand up game, a boxing background. And he keeps his his chin tucked, his hands high, yes. elbows in. Uh, Steps in when he throws his shots. I mentioned 2011 Golden Gloves champ, his first time out, defeated David Green, 141 novice, back in 2011, 84th annual. Yep. And the kid, Julio's credentials are long. Yeah, I saw, you saw it right there with the front kick by Vasquez. Six and two, Bellator vet. Tell you. Nice leg kick by Vasquez. You saw Julio try to snatch it up. Vasquez has fought some serious opponents too. Mike Hernandez defeated Derek Jones back in 2011. His great shot year. by Julio. A great counter right by Julio Arce. Late stages round number one. See those low leg kicks trying to set up some work upstairs. Good knee by Julio Arce. See Vasquez pushing him to the cage, trying to hold him there. Julio letting those knees go, though. Jeez. Can you see not breathing heavy? We talked about the poise of some of these fighters this evening, not panicking, even when they're put in uncomfortable situations. Yep. Good game. But these guys are so experienced. I mean, they're, you know, you said it. Uh, Vasquez, I believe, a uh, Bellator strike force vet. Uh, Julio Arce's credentials are all, all over the place. Vasquez uh, landed a good counter kind of right. Yeah. Uh, Va or, uh, Julio, I'm sorry. Uh, Ami, Muay Thai world champ. Yes, undefeated yes. Ami MMA. Uh, like you said, 2011 gold. Oh. Nice. Couple 
left by Julio Arce. Closing out round number one in style. I think Vasquez got hurt on that shot too. That, yeah. that certainly pushed him back a little bit and he's wincing a little bit, checking his eye, wiping it away, blinking a little bit. Ring doctor, physician's gonna check up on him. Definitely, uh, that's the way to finish a round right there. Oh, absolutely, with a flurry like that? Yes, definitely. Because if it was a close round, he's, it closes out the round and you win that round. But right there, you saw that you left. You see Julio coming forward. I mean, he doesn't throw one shot at a time. He threw the inside leg kick, and then he's following up with a one-two. I mean, this kid is definitely well-rounded as they come. You know, credit to Vasquez, though. I mean, he's hanging tough. He's in there. I oh, caught him with a good combination right there. But yeah, the problem definitely. is, too, southpaw, you're always going to counter with that lead run. Right, absolutely. So you're, you're setting up a little bit, setting up, setting it up, and then boom, you walk right into it. <laughs> right. Must be a boxing guy, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see if he uses that right jab a little bit. But good round, number one for Julio Arce. See the little bit of a welt under the left eye of Vasquez. See, uh, in, in Vasquez's face, uh, he's, he looks like a man determined this round. He's going to have to keep that left guard up a little more, too. Starts off with consecutive outside leg kicks. Another straight left by Julio Now chasing around Vasquez around the cage. Oh, and he got caught again with that leg kick. Again, Julio just looks so confident in there, taking his time. His movement is very smooth inside the cage. Oh, there's that left again. Again, nice one, too. And you can see by his eyes, at least I can, he is definitely looking to keep this up right, and, and he's almost trying to time it right now. Sure, sure. He has a great sense of distance. I mean, he, when, he knows when to get in, when to land the shots. And he's got, uh, again, right there. Nice right jab. It's fighting from the pocket. He can get in, he can get out. Well, he just got caught right there. That might be Vasquez's best punch, but nothing doing. Arce still goes forward. Yeah, I mean, Arce's chin is tucked. I mean, those shots, I mean, he's feeling them, but he's like a man possessed right now. And we saw a momentary lapse there by Thomas Vasquez. Got caught again. Thank you. Round number two, slated for three. You made a comment, Rich, about um, Vasquez has to keep his uh, left hand up, and that's definitely apparent. You see the mouse under his eye. Uh, Julio's jab is going right over that. Yep. It's finding a home right there. It's tough because you're weary. Now you know that the guy's got the skills to beat you up top, but now you have to start focusing, okay, is he going to start to chop down the tree down below? If so, what do I do? So it's almost a catch-22. Right. Or do I try to shoot in and take my chance? And, and, and get this fight on the ground. Julio Arce very well rounded. Two thirty to go. Round number two, Slater for three. Arce trying to defend his Ring of Combat Bantamweight title. Thomas Vasquez, Bellator vet, twenty-eight years of age, six and two, has other ideas. Good Ami record too, eight and zero. Oh. Yes, another ex another experienced fighter. You see, I mean, he's trying to get. The, he, it looks like he's trying to get that takedown. He wants to take down. He's landing shots, but like you said, I mean, Julio is so well rounded. I mean, he's defending anything that Thomas Vasquez is trying to do. Just to give you an idea of how packed this place is tonight, there's photographers pressed up against the cage on our far side when these guys are 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 in action, so to speak. So it, it tells you wonderful matchmaking again by Lou Neglia and these title fights are so much on the line and great crowd and they, and they love it. They come and they fill the Tropicana up. Well, it's the, it's the reputation that Lou has built with a Ring of Combat. I mean, when you come to a Ring of Combat event, you get your money's worth, all tough fights. I mean, yeah, you do see the, you know, the first round knockouts, but for the most part, Evenly competitive matchups. I mean, as you can see in this fight right here, 
Uh, you know, Julio's definitely doing his work, getting his work in. But uh, Thomas Vasquez, he, he's trying. He's, he's in there. He's in the fight. I'll take quality over quantity any time of the day. And every title fight has been action-packed, competitive, tightly contested. This is no different. And right now, you're right. Let's go back to those, those, those counters, those those lefts, those lead rights that we just saw, that mouse is really starting to grow, that welt. That right, that right is finding a home every single time he throws yes, it. Yes, it is. He's going to be in trouble here, Thomas Vasquez. Julio Arce now, just keeping his fight upright, smart fighter, utilizing his skill set brilliantly. A little bit of the reach. Southpaw always causes problems. I'd like to see if he sneaks in a left. Just, I just have this, you just, know, you just know when you watch sometimes the timing of a guy. Sure. There it was right there. <laughs> Almost a trip up there. He's cutting off the cage and he has Vasquez running for his life. A lot of times when we talk about fights and, and and sometimes we'll have fights where they're always on the ground and the guy's yes. expending a lot of energy yes rarely do you see a fight where it's upright and one guy is dominating his opponent and to be fair Julio Arce is dominating Thomas Vasquez right now he has no answers yeah yeah like you said I mean Julio is such a well-rounded fighter I mean he's throwing his shots landing his one two right there just pressing forward thomas vasquez is almost like in defense slash survival mode yes you know and uh julio you know throwing in the inside leg kicks here connecting with uh, the left hand and, and uh, what, what happens at times too fred is you you, you almost break the the, the will of your opponent Yes, where absolutely. They, they just know, all right, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to go down guns blazing. Absolutely. I mean, T Vasquez is definitely trying. I mean, he's in the fight still, but, uh, you know, standing up, he's not, Julio's having his way with him. He pressed Julio up to the cage, tried to get him to the ground. That wasn't working, so they're back in the middle of the cage. And a little showmanship in round number three because Arce started to bounce up and down because he saw that Vasquez was just kind of catching his breath. Vasquez saw that and he started to jump up and down where, you know, hey, you're not going to get in my head. Right. I might be tired. I might be winded. I might even be beaten. But guess what? You're not going to break the will. Absolutely. I'm not going to quit. He's going to need something spectacular here. Arce in the black tights. Vasquez in the black trunks. Third and final round. Julio Arce trying to defend his Ring of Combat Fanaway title. And right now, brilliant performance. Vasquez, and Vasquez gets him down. A little momentum here. Just like that. Julio back to his feet. can't really gauge how conditioned these two are. When you bounce up and down like that for a round. Vasquez letting his hands go. There was a uh, like a left, a short left hook that landed in there uh, for Vasquez. The problem is a little bit, he's lacking, he's got to sneak in some more. See, he might, he might be a belief right now, Fred, where I'm going to throw one and if I have to eat two, so be it. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And you see, and just like you said, right there, Rich, you said he throws one. You see Julio throw one, like, two, three, four punch that's combinations. Conditioning. Yeah, that's the conditioning right now. And he's just taking over. His hands are still up in the air, which shows his conditioning is off the charts. Mm -hmm. When you start to drop your hands a little bit, your, your mouth is wide open, you're breathing heavy, you're tired. See, Vasquez throws one. Goes in, dips in, comes back out. Right, right. And I think it's the fear of getting, not the fear, I think it's just the mindset of getting caught. Yes, definitely. I mean, he's eating a lot of shots from Julio. Just a nice little jab right there. Sure. And, uh, Inside like leg kick by Vasquez. See, 
Archie's corner telling him, go after him, go after him. And he does right there, good right, then another left. Now he's got Vasquez back up. I think Vasquez is hurting. Yeah. He looks a little stunned there. Oh, oh another hard. straight right by Arce. Hard shot by Julio. And Julio is dangerous on the ground. Yeah, now guess what? Vasquez got to answer back right now. We might see a stoppage. Peterson watching it. Julio Arce, relentless. Yeah, he's got his man hurt. He knows it. Yeah, he does. Keith Peterson watching this action very closely right now because, again, fighter safety. Thomas Vasquez has to just try to worm his way out, show something. If he covers up, that's going to be all she wrote. Couple lefts by Arce right now. Raining down some elbows as well for good measure. Buck 30 to go, third and final round. Arce looking to defend his Bantamweight title. Yep. Oh, good left. Oh, and he stunned Vasquez again. Another straight left, raining down some Rainmakers. Yeah, Peterson's getting ready to step in. He's getting ready. Oh, uh, well. You want to say Vasquez? There, there it was, is. There right it there. was. Oh, mercy. Julio Arce defending his ring of combat. Bantamweight championship. And that that was a statement right there. It was a statement. There's no other way to slice it or dice it. That was a brilliant performance because he kept the fight upright. And he was just able to tee off on a very game Thomas Vasquez. But very sometimes game. you just don't have the answer. No, I, Julio is is, uh, is is something special. There's no doubt about it. I mean, he's a special fighter. A lot of this fight was on the feet. And uh, if you're new to Julio Arce, which um, I'm not sure if you are or not, but uh, Julio is just as dangerous on the ground as well. Yeah, we didn't really need to see it tonight. No, not at all. He did all the damage upright. All right, let's make it official. We'll go inside the cage to Peter Neglia. Ladies and gentlemen, the battle was stopped at 3 minutes and 46 seconds of round three. Winner by TKO and still Ring of Combat National Bantamweight Champion, Julio Arce. I don't want to dismiss the effort of Thomas Vasquez there are just sometimes you go into a fight it's a tough matchup absolutely and it's a tough opponent and that's exactly what it was tonight to there's really no there's no way around it I mean it's just a situation where 